Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series on your favorite channel Technical Portal. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends who want to learn Microsoft Excel and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this. And don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook into my description box so please check that. So today in this video we are going to learn about some interesting fact of index and match function how to use these to retrieve values from a table where lookup values are sorted in descending order like from higher to lower. If you are curious then I want to share something that the index match function only can retrieve data where data is shorted into the ascending order like the VLOOKUP right? So watch this video till the end to get more knowledge about this index and functions interesting feature. Let me tell about this context of this database right? Suppose you have a product like suppose you have a product that is sold in rolls of 100 feet and orders are allowed in whole rolls only. For example, if you need 300 feet of a material, you will need 3 rolls total and if you need 375 feet, you will need to buy 3 rolls. In this case, we want the formula to return the next highest tire whenever you cross over and even multiple of 100. So here we need to provide any type of length like I have already told that 375 or you can input anything else as you want and the price should be calculated according to this table. How to do it? We are going to use the index and match function. So look carefully. Equals to at first we need the index function here as an array we are searching for the price right. So include the price cell here. In my case that is from C5 to C9, insert a comma now we are going to use the match function here. It is asking now for lookup value. What we are searching for? We are searching for the value included into the A4 cell, right? So insert a comma again. Now where it will search for? It is asking for the lookup array and the lookup array is from B5 to B9 in this case. Now insert a comma again. Now here the trick will be applied. We are going to use minus one or greater than option into this case. So use minus one or you can directly double click on it. Right. Now close the parenthesis and hit the enter button. You will get your result according to your table. Now why it is showing like this? Not like this because I didn't format it like this. How to format it like this? That's not difficult. Just select this cell and click on this dollar symbol. According to your currency, it will automatically convert it into like this format, right? If you don't want the values in decimal, you can decrease the decimal values by clicking here or you can also increase the decimal places by clicking onto this option. So let me show you how this formula actually works. Using the lookup value in the cell A4, this formula uses minus 1 for match type to allow an approximate match on value shorted in descending order. The match part of the formula does it work when you insert the option as minus 1. Using the lookup value in the cell we have included as A4, match finds the first value into the range that is from B5 to B9 in my case that is greater than or equal to the lookup value we have provided into this cell. If an exact match is found, match returns the relative row number for that match. When no exact match found, match continues through the values in B5 to B9 as we have provided these as our cell range until a smaller value is found. Then it steps back and returns the previous row number. So in this case as we have provided the lookup value as 375 the match returns a row number of 2 here to index. Then the index function returns the second value in the range of price that we have provided as our range array that is 440 here. So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you like this video. I'll come back soon with another interesting video. Please share your opinions as well as your queries in the comment section. 
Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.